it's Melanie, the carnivore queen. I am coming to you from my bathroom sink. I'm gonna do a video today on how I wash my makeup brushes. Um, so a lot of you don't know this, but I am actually a licensed medical esthetician. And um, it's, a, it's a passion of mine. Makeup is a passion of mine, skincare, all that stuff. Um, one of the things that I've noticed with a lot of clients is that they have really dirty makeup brushes and that can actually cause you to break out. So I wanted to do a demonstration of how I clean my makeup brushes and what I use. Um, and for today, I'm gonna to be using these. These were my daughter's. Um, she's six and she uses these to not only put on makeup, but she uses them to play with like paint and things like that. So there's a lot of crazy stuff in these brushes. So if these can get clean, then you know, you, you got it going the right way with what I'm about to tell you to do. Okay, so the first thing I do is I use a cleansing oil. And this is what I've been using on my face to take off my makeup for about 20 years. And it sounds crazy to use oil to wash your face with, but this is the best stuff on the planet. Um, it's made in Japan. It's DHC, that's the brand, and it's deep cleansing oil. And the craziest thing is I got this at Sam's. Who knew, right? I usually just order it online. But what I'm gonna do is, so you put this on, you actually put this on dry skin. And then when you add water, it emulsifies and it'll pull off your makeup and you know all the funky stuff and it'll leave your skin super soft. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use that on my makeup brushes. Cause I have some pretty expensive makeup brushes that, um, you know, they need some pretty good care. So I'm gonna get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run hot water. And like I said, you start out dry. And you just squirt that oil in there. And you see, can you see that on my hand? And I just kind of rub it around a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and get this wet. And I'm going to almost like squeeze it. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see all that stuff come out. The water is turning pink. It just keeps coming out. There's some funky stuff in here. I, I don't think it's makeup. I think it's washable Crayola paint or something. Maybe it's not washable. Okay. So then I'm going to do it again. Because I don't think that got it. And even though it's wet, it's okay. It's, it's still going to work pretty good. And then I'm going to run it under the water again. And squeeze the bristles. Then I'm going to take my good old faithful Bath and Body Works soap. Or you can use shampoo, whatever you prefer. I just love the way this smells when it dries. This is Japanese cherry blossom, which is like my favorite favorite scent. My favorite scent. That's what it sounds like. So then you just squeeze all the excess water. Then you tap. Then you get a towel that you don't care about. And you kind of do this back and forth motion. And then you can kind of blot any excess liquid out. Kind of brush it along because you want to make sure these fibers stand up still. And I mean, I think that's a great improvement. Yeah, it is stained a little bit, but uh, that's a lot better than it was. So then what I do is I just let this air dry for about, mm, let's see, I don't know, probably about an hour. It'll be ready in about an hour. So there you have it. That's how you can clean your makeup brushes. 